Hey guys, this is Evans Disney's Film Corner Toronto 23 here in Vegas. What guys? Happy second anniversary to Encanto. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it has been two years since this movie came out. I mean, yeah, this is definitely my third favorite movie of all time, and also this is definitely my favorite movie of the um the 2020 decade so far. I mean, yeah, I just absolutely adore this movie, and also this is also my third favorite movie of all time. Right under my um, second favorite movie of all time being Moana. And my number one favorite movie of all time it being Coco. I mean, I absolutely adore Encanto. Like, yeah, this is definitely one of Disney's best movies. And also one of Walt Disney Animation Studios' best movies in general, actually. I mean, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely um, Walt, Disney, Walt Disney Animation Studios' best movie I've ever seen since Moana. I mean, yeah, never have I fell in love with a Walt Disney Animation Studios movie ever since Moana. I mean, yeah, I just absolutely adore Encanto. Like, yeah, this is definitely Disney's best movie since Moana, which honestly, yeah, I just absolutely adore this movie. I mean, yeah, it, yeah, it is directed by Byron Howard and Jared Bush. I mean, yeah, this is definitely my favorite film from Byron Howard and Jared Bush. I mean, yeah, they are definitely, they did fantastic directing this movie. I mean, yeah, I did remember seeing this movie in theaters on November 24th from 2021, with my um, mom, my um, my brother, and my sister, and they all loved it. I mean, yeah, I saw it in Cinemark Theaters in Mobile, and I loved it, and I still absolutely love it to this day, actually, yeah. I just absolutely adored this movie. I mean, yeah, this is definitely one of Disney's best movies. I mean, yeah, I mean, man, 2021 was definitely a big year for Lemon Mom Miranda. Like, we have gotten um, In the Heights, we have gotten um, Vivo, and we have gotten Tick, Tick, Boom, which he um, directed that movie. I mean, yeah, I would love to see um, Lim and Mom Miranda direct another movie, which that would be really exciting and awesome at the exact same time. I mean, yeah, that would be really exciting if he would direct another movie. That would be that would be awesome if he would direct another movie because I would I would love to see him direct another movie. So yeah, and also and also there's Encanto actually, which yeah, which um yeah, it's definitely my favorite movie of 2021. And definitely my favorite anime movie of 2021 as well. I mean, yeah. I just absolutely adore this movie. And also, yeah. I mean, yeah. Both Coco and Encanto are both similar movies. Considering both movies focus on the protagonists that are the only non-special ones in the family. Like how, um, like Miguel is the only person, um, the only um, Riviera in the family that likes music. But the rest of his family hates music. Just like how Mirabelle is the only um madrigal in the family that um doesn't have a gift which um yeah and they also both um both um uh, miguel and mirabel both um help go on a journey to, to actually um help their family to actually heal their family trauma actually which honestly yeah and also i definitely thought um this movie is also really emotional i would say this movie is just as emotional and very powerful just as much as Coco, I mean, yeah, and also, even the songs in this movie are just absolutely phenomenal, they still hold up to this day two years later, I mean, yeah, they still are fantastic, like, The Family Madrigal, Oh, Waiting on a Miracle, oh, um, Surface Pressure, We Don't Talk About Bruno, which, yeah, speaking of We Don't Talk About Bruno, that song is very popular, like, we don't talk about Bruno, no, 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 we don't talk about Bruno. Yeah, that song is very catchy and really awesome at the exact same time. I mean, yeah. And also, What Else Can I Do and Gozo Aditas and also All of You were also fantastic songs. And also, yeah, yeah, this, this, this movie is actually composed, the songs of this movie are composed by the same songwriter who did um, Moana, which also, yeah. I thought he did just as a fantastic job with this movie as much he as the, as he did with uh, Moana, which honestly, yeah. And I'm really hoping that Lemon Mom Miranda does do another musical of Walt Mission Studios because that would be awesome, actually. Even though he did um do the um live action remake of Little Mermaid this year with Alan Menken, which honestly, yeah. And also, um, yeah, which I would love to see him um do another animated musical. That would be awesome, actually. So yeah. And also, um, even the cast of this movie is definitely fantastic. Like, Stephanie Beatrice as Mirabelle was definitely fantastic. I mean, yeah, she's definitely the perfect casting choice for Mirabelle. And fun fact, she was originally going to play um, Orisa, but um, the directors realized that she had a more bubbly personality. But, but the directors, um, Byron Howard and Jared Bush, realized that um, she, um, her, she, her personality is a lot 
is actually a lot more bubbly, so they decided to um, have um, Stephanie Beatrice play Mirabelle instead, which honestly, I definitely think, I definitely think um, Stephanie Beatrice is definitely a perfect as Mirabelle. I mean, definitely the perfect casting choice. I mean, yeah, definitely, she was definitely fantastic in this movie as well. And even um, Diane, Guerrero, Diane Guerrero as um, Isabella was also fantastic, and also as, as well as Adasa as... Um, as um Dolores and even even the rest of the characters of this movie like um Camillo and um Antonio were great characters as well and also um and also Julieta and also um Felix and um uh, I mean um, Julieta Augustine and um and um Felix and Peppa and um Antonio were definitely fantastic as well, and also I definitely think um, um, Abrola is definitely a really interesting character and really such an emotional character as well. I mean, yeah, yeah, she she may um you may think that she is the villain of the movie, but she actually isn't. She's actually a lot more sympathetic, and you actually do feel bad for her when her when her husband died. It actually when um her husband died in the um Civil War, or. Um, like yeah, that was really heartbreaking. Yeah, that that, that song was also in um, that, um, that scene was also in the Gosa Dita song, which also that was really heartbreaking actually. And also yeah, even um, and also another heartbreaking song is Waiting on a Miracle. And fun fact um, um, certain the actress who who played um Mirabel Seventy Beatrice was actually in labor, or when um recording the song Waiting on a Miracle, and one day she actually um had her baby, which also was really really um sweet actually which i'll see yeah also honestly um i definitely think um this song waiting on um uh, i think um um seventy beatrice um um had a child actually like, yeah um seventy beatrice did had a ch had her baby um um one day before i think one day she was she actually recorded um Waiting on a Miracle before she had her baby, which honestly made the song even more emotional and also heartbreaking as well. Which honestly, yeah, I would consider Waiting on a Miracle to be one of Disney's most, um, one, one of Disney's most saddest songs ever. Like, I would say it's, like, reflection from, I would say, um, Waiting on the Miracle, Waiting on a Miracle is, like, reflection from Mulan, actually, which honestly, it's an I Want song from Disney that, both, because both from Reflection and Waiting on a Miracle are both, Disney I Want songs that are very sad, actually, which honestly, yeah, yeah, I would say Waiting on a Miracle is definitely a fantastic song and really amazing and also, yeah, and really beautiful and also really heartbreaking as well. I mean, yeah, that song was just really emotional and also, yeah, and even the rest of the songs of the Family Manager album, fun fact, um, that song also took inspiration from um, Belle from Beauty and the Beast, which also, yeah, which is also really exciting. Also, I forgot to mention the character Bruno, which I'll see. I thought he was fantastic, and character. I thought he was a fantastic character as well. I mean, John John Leguizamo did fantastic voicing his character as well. I mean, yeah, he definitely felt like he had so much fun playing that character. I mean, yeah, he definitely feels like Ghost Gail Cosino Burnell when he um voiced Hector in Coco. Which honestly, fun fact, both um um Hector Hector and um Bruno are both similar characters, considering that both. Um, characters abandon their family members, and, um, their family, um, their, their, um, and also the, their families actually forget, forgot that person, forgot, um, both, um, the, the Rivieras and the Madrigals both forget about, um, Bruno, about, um, Hector and Bruno, they both forget about their existence, and they just don't talk about them, and also, yeah, and also they both, and also, oh, they're both misunderstood as well, which honestly, I think they're both fantastic characters as well. I mean, yeah, yeah, I just absolutely adored this movie. And also, yeah, and I definitely think it definitely did deserve to win Best Anime Feature at the 2022 Oscars, which I definitely think it definitely did deserve, actually, because this movie is definitely that good. I mean, I truly, I absolutely adore this movie. I mean, yeah. And I will do a third anniversary video on Encanto next year in, in 2024, so assume that. So, yeah. So yeah, it looks like the Encanto hype is still going, and and also and it will still go into um 
even then Kanto Hype will still go into um two thousand twenty four as well, which honestly yeah. Which honestly yeah. Which um yeah. Yeah, I mean I just absolutely adore this movie. So yeah. So yeah guys. Happy second anniversary to Encanto. So yeah, guys, what do you think of this video? Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe my channel. And make sure to like this video. So yeah. So, I'll see you guys later. And bye.